Oppa and Will, Will and we are Little, little Will. Will. I was gonna say, Big Will, Little Will. We're here in Chongi for our holiday, family holiday. So we thought that would vlog it for you guys. Hopefully Leo enjoys it. And we've never filmed with him outside, He's so. Vlogging it actually. Yeah. yeah, but we're in this beautiful place called Italian Village in Chongi Province. There's so many wonderful places to visit in Chongi that we haven't been to. Yeah. This is new for us as well. Yes. And um, we're gonna be doing glamping tonight too for yeah. the first time. That's right. And we're gonna be yeah. visiting a forest. As well, we are in Kapyong, yeah. Nice. Achim Goyo Forest. Why is it oh, morning yeah. come? That, morning that, come. Yeah, that place forest. we love. Yeah. We've been there a few times, mm -hmm. but yeah, we always go on holidays alone and we don't really vlog it, but we thought we would capture it for you guys. So hopefully, you enjoy this two part series. It's our first time doing yeah. family vlogging with Leo. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Leo, are you excited? Are excited or are you sleepy? You're sleepy. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Let's enjoy Korea Let's together. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's begin. Get ready with me. Hey guys, it's the dog. It's our first morning in Kangito. And I'm just doing my makeup. So beautiful outside. Like unbelievable. We came here at night time. So we couldn't see, but in the morning when we woke up, we're right beside a mountain with a beautiful like river or lake. And it's so beautiful. The fall colors. The beauty of just driving a little bit outside of Seoul, like literally only took two hours to drive here and you're in a completely different place. Oh, and also I cut my hair last night. Leo cut his hair for the first time as well at the hair salon. I cut his hair when he was like maybe six months or eight months at home. But you know, it wasn't proper. It was just a little bit of a trim. This is the first time he actually went to the hair salon and he did a great job. We were like so proud of him. He didn't cry until like the very end because <laughs> he looked at himself in the mirror and it's different from what he was used to. But during the whole thing, he didn't fuss at all. He was a good boy. Okay, I can't talk while I'm doing eyeliner. So let me just finish doing my makeup. And um, yeah, let's do the day. Leo, do you want to come out a little bit? Say hi. He's got the aircon remote, his favorite. Leo, say hello. Here. Oh, <laughs> sleepy hello. Hello. Oppa is here too. I've got two Williams. All right, let me finish getting ready. Do you like it? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, What's the sun? <laughs> aircon. Uh, he cut his hair yesterday. Ah. Uh, yeah, aircon. going here it's a pretty pranks you've never seen Pinocchio but that's Pinocchio long nose look at the massive Pinocchio I know that kind of looks a little like you oh my so you shouldn't tell lies of <laughs> hey look how pretty it is yeah oh. it is actually quite pretty yeah, yeah actually that really looks like you yeah I know yeah there must be a reason why it's very fit popular here. Yeah, exactly. Looking forward to going in there. Let's go inside and show Leo. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Leo, what? where are we right now? Where are we, Leo? We're in a little Italy. Oh, we're in little Italy. Italian village. Wow, look, look at all Whoa. this. It actually looks realistic. It really does. 
it reminds me of our European trip. Look at it, Leo. You haven't been to Italy. Now, Even the floors. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like they already have moss on it. How did they get that happening? I know, it looks vintage. So this place apparently they um, opened in May of this year. Yeah. And the Petit France down below is the place where a lot of the dramas have been filmed. Like My right. Love from Another Star and Running Man if you guys have seen. Wow, look at this plaza area. So this is meant to be the little Italy. Like this. Whee! <laughs> to look a little bit more like Germany, right? Yeah, like France, but on the way to Germany. Uh, no so it's inside France, but towards the Germany yeah. area. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. What's an orgel? This is some kind of really instrument like playing area. <gasps> wow! I know what it is. It's the little mini things that you do, but like a mass version of it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm about to do the orgel yes. playing. Yeah, go for it, Jen. <laughs> Don't ruin it. Is it a skill that I'm having in my life? Chanchan is Ah, chanchan is Gently. Leon, look what I'm doing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Is it not? Hey, it's moving. I'm trying to hear what the song is. So apparently, um, if you watch Running Man, you just Hawk actually came here and was playing this orgel. You can come here and they play it six times a day for you so you can actually hear like the authentic orgel here. That's pretty cool. Someone did some painting painting here. Painting painting. Mama Moo came here too. Mama Moo. Does this piano work? I want to touch it. I'm not allowed, right? Okay, so we're here for lunch now and um, this is actually one of the Matjibdil in Korea. So Matjib in Korea means like really yummy place. And usually you have to know a local Korean to find out what a Matjib is, where they are. So I thought that you guys would actually benefit from knowing this place. This is where they actually recommended us to come. And it's called Hangari Makguksu. As you can see, they have traditional kind of pots where they make all their fermented ingredients. And apparently it's really yummy. So I'm like looking forward to it. Should we go in? Kusuan Hangari Makguksu. Right here. Let's go eat. Leo, what's that? Mandu. Yeah. Whoa, look at the noodles. <gasps> noodles, wow. So this is the potato ton, like a potato traditional cake. One of my favorites. And this is suyu. Over here is runengmyeon. It's a cold noodle soup. And then this one is the chili mixed noodle soup. Bibim naengmyeon. And they also have like delicious looking dumplings, which everyone has already devoured. Oh wow, it looks like real tradition. Like handmade. Can you make Can you Bon appétit. Mm. Yum. It's not hot at all. The yummiest bibimyeon that I've ever eaten. Bibimyeon이 아닌가? 막국수인가? I need someone to teach me. <laughs> I have no idea. Mm. 
very yummy. Pork soup with a bit of cabbage on it. Mm. Yum. Like really, really authentic. Yeah. Love chon. Chon is one of my favorite foods. Mm. It's like a Korean hash brown, but really yummy version, healthy version. Like crunchy on the outside, chewy and soft on the inside. Mm. Yeah. Noodle. Leo likes this potato. Leo is watching this thing called the Singing Walrus. That's the only thing that we've shown him so far. But good thing is he's not like addicted to the screen, so that's why we we're kind of okay with showing him sometimes when he gets fussy. Just giving a bit of the potato. Mm, yummy, yummy. Leo doesn't like this rocket part. The fast forward. The days of the week, Leo. <laughs> Chew, 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 Leo. So Leo is napping, so I came here first to introduce where we are next. This is actually a really beautiful garden called the Garden of Morning Calm or Achim Koyo Sumogwan. Such beautiful gardens with flowers and all sorts of indoor, outdoor kind of areas. So yeah, this is a beautiful place for a date or if you just want to have a bit of a healing time. So yeah, let's go and check it out. It's really beautiful during the fall as well. It, per adult, it's about $9 per person or for kids, it's $6. So it's pretty affordable. People think that coming to a garden is for old people, but no, definitely not. When you go inside, you'll actually see how beautiful it is. Let's go. 안녕하세요. 네, 잘 먹겠습니다. 우와, 너무 예쁘다. 이게 뮬리예요, 혹시? Pink Muley. Pink Muley. There's a lot of makeup based on Pink Muley, but I never knew what it was. But this is what it is. It only comes out during this particular season in Korea. It's so pretty. So the guy who started this place used to teach about um, how to grow flora. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. I've seen it for the first time, but it's so beautiful. I'm so old, I'm out of breath. Okay, I think it's the mask. So he was explaining how every season you come here, it's completely different. So obviously in the fall, you have the different colors like the oranges and the beautiful fall colors. In the spring, it's different. In the summer, it's different. It's actually worth coming in the winter too, he was saying, because they specifically do some tailoring of the um, indoor plants for the winter. So it's really beautiful then too. And people come from all over the world here. The top three countries are from Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Singapore, just for more information. I'm gonna go inside the greenhouse. <gasps> wow, what are you doing? It's so big. Is this a gukha? Yes, it's a gukha. If you look at these gukha, it's all in the same way. 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 그래서 이건 우리말로 이제 당간장. 우와, look how big this one is. <laughs> it's like my face size. All throughout the year, they do it for one year in order to make one big kukwa. So actually, they're usually like small, but they have to keep on trimming, maintaining it. There are different types, obviously, but this is a result of a lot of hard work throughout the year. <laughs> it's so beautiful, guys. Look at the dolphins. I'm going up, up and up and up. Up, up, up. So we just walked up a bit of the stairs and this is where you can kind of capture everything that the garden can offer. They have the traditional rooftop over here. They've got a lot of maple trees as well. And then of course the traditional Korean trees. I think they're pine trees. Then over here, there's like a water area down there too. So highly recommend going checking that place out too. So beautiful, look at the color. The mountains, oh my gosh, so healing. Oh, there's actually fish in here. Look at the colors. Autumn colors. Up there too. Mm -hmm. 
trees, leaf, we are leaf. Well, yeah, what is it? It's just soft. This is pink moon. Mommy thing for the first time here. Here is so beautiful. Okay. We haven't seen like this many bees recently. I feel like anyway. I'm just getting healed yeah. just by being here. Exactly. My mom would love it too. Yeah. I'm I wish she could come. Of <laughs> okay, we're gonna move to the zoo to show Leo some of the animals. It's our first time at the zoo, but I love this place. It's so beautiful. Look at it, guys. Yeah. Look at it. This is Korea. Let's go! <gasps> wow! There's little fishies! Fish! He's waiting. Yeah. She fish, fish. Let's go to the zoo. Off to the zoo. And it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August. And I've come out here to say. You are on my own. Chamne. On my own. I thought it was going to be a teji. Yeah, they're more compang in a compang. You're Tananda. You're Tananda. This place is perfect for kids. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, my God. 조심히요. 엄마. 엄마. Hey. So, we're inside the little dog area. Apparently, this is a place where they brought the rescue dogs, so like dogs that Koreans have um, abandoned. And I'm giving them this free space to run and be loved. Anya. Come here, I've got some carrot for you. Oh, sorry, that was my last one. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Leo's not interested, so I'm in here by myself. <laughs> with picking it. <laughs> oh, cute! Sorry, Papa. Oh my gosh. Oh, cute. Leo, let go. <laughs> let go. <laughs> this guy's so cute. <laughs> Do you want a carrot? Do you want a little bit of a little bit? Yeah. Whoa, Leo. Whoa, they're all coming. Whoa, Leo, look. Bunchies. Glamping site. Glamping is actually a glamorous camping sort of thing, so it's a trend in Korea for recent years actually, but definitely has become a lot bigger since Corona happened and Koreans have just been stranded inside the nation. But it's actually my first time doing it as well, so I've only seen it in like dramas and on TV. But it basically is little hotel rooms 
in a small little house that's actually got all the amenities. So yeah, let's go inside. Oppa's there, Leo. Let's go see what it's like. Whoa. Has everything. Welcome to my house. <gasps> it's actually really, actually stunningly well equipped. Looks so, so cozy with all the lights. Yeah, and I know. Like pretty much chairs. you can actually come here without bringing anything. Oh. And you can cook right away. There's a barbie here, Ooh. there's a fridge. All the utensils and plates are here as well. Nice. And if you actually go inside the tent, it looks like a little hotel. So it's actually pretty good. So cozy. Yeah. Let's go inside. I want to see what the inside looks like. But okay. this is perfect for like barbecue. Are we going to have barbecue? Yeah. Wow, this is the inside. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's Keep actually. It's, so it's double story. Looks like there's a bedroom up there. That's right. It's really nicely done. The interior is really cozy. Yeah, it makes me just want to sit here and chill all night. Whoa, hey, it's like a big tent. It is, it's a oh. gigantic tent. <laughs> so it literally is glamorous it is, camping. Uh, it is actually glamorous. Yeah, like one tent to that. Tent yes, tent. and Leo changed his nappy here as well. Not a man Already. Do you want to go upstairs? See upstairs. What's that? Oh, That's it's a, a TV. Projector. Go upstairs. Do you, do you like it? Hello. Glamorous camping, our first glamorous Glam camping. Glam camp, camp. glam camp. Let's go upstairs and see what it looks like. Are you ready to just plunge into the bed? Oh. <gasps> Whoa, it's not a bed, it's like a Bonk room up. with a bed yeah. as the whole room. <laughs> yes, that's why I said we're going to oh, sleep well here tonight. Look at it guys. This is so cozy. Yes. Like for room for the whole family. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so soft! Joya! 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 Are you gonna sleep here tonight? Yeah. Are you ready to eat some barbecue? Okay, barbecue, we're yes. gonna grill ourselves. Okay, so Leo needs to know we're gonna rest a little bit and then have our glorious dinner here with our meat. Yep. Okay. I'll see you guys at the barbecue. This is so fun. Yeah. Wow, look at that, yummy! Shish kebab. Leo loves meat. It's like his favorite food, apart from grapes and tomatoes. Omma! Ah. Your, your mouth is so small. Pork. Pork? Yeah. I'm really bad at explaining food, so you explain the food. Chicken skewers. Chicken skewers. And pork. pork. Yeah. But in the Korean style of wrapping it in the vegetable. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, Sam 101. How to make really, really yummy Sam. The authentic Korean way. So you gotta grab lettuce and you put sesame leaf on top. You grab meat, obviously, a big chunk. And you have another layer of meat you put soy paste well that's a lot of soy paste and you fold. put a little bit of rice too yeah but rice is cheating carbs mm. that's how you do it the korean way but i can't fit that all in my mouth so i actually like bite it in half i always envy people who have huge mouths and they can fit that all in yeah your take ah. 